So I'm sure you guys know who Christopher Hayes is. He's a host on MSNBC. He has his like own little show there. And he's a bit fringe on my opinion in terms of his progressivism, but he's pretty okay. Um, he's a very likable guy is what I'll say for sure. But this is interesting, okay, because we're all, we're on, you know, the kneecap of uh, the 2016 election, and especially the primary and all this, so there's still a lot of questions going around as to what the future of the Democratic Party is. I've told you guys many times here is that 25% say they consider themselves Democrat, 28 say they consider themselves Republican, 44 consider themselves independent. So we are in trouble, big trouble, okay? And that's the main problem that we're facing currently. But, so... There was this guy, his name is Jeffrey John Smith, just some random guy, right? He's on Twitter, he says, At Chris Hayes, Hey, Chris, why don't you do a town hall with Hillary, who got more votes than Bernie and Trump? So, I don't think Chris Hayes has done a town hall with Trump before, but I know for sure he's done with one with Bernie Sanders, and I've seen Bernie Sanders convince... Um, I don't know if they're Trump supporters or just Republicans because they are different. They're not interchangeable. But he'll convince them to kind of side with him. And it's really transformative and interesting to see. But the point is, is that Bernie Sanders will actually go out in town halls and talk to people and stuff like that. And convince people, you know, what's going on and things like that. So I've seen those happen, which are pretty darn cool. I'm not going to lie. But so he responds to this for whatever reason. And he says... I would absolutely love to do a town hall with Hillary Clinton, but she would have to want to do it. That's, I know it's not intentional burning, but like, think about that. Think about how solid of a burn that is. Unintentionally, that is, but for us, it's funny, right? So, but, and this is another topic too. So Bernie Sanders has done insurmount an insurmountable amount of things and and a, a ton of things right like i've seen him protesting the dapl out in the dark at night as windy as cold some motherfuckers like 70 something 74 75 and he's uh protecting obamacare on the front lines an extremely outspoken critic of trump i've seen him getting getting people riled up at rallies to support the democrats and there's nancy pelosi and chuck schumer the establishment guys behind him because they know that bernie's the guy and all these different things right but it's all interesting so My point here is is that Bernie Sanders shows that showed his that he's the real guy because he is continuing the fight for the people instead of just pussing and bitching out like Hillary Clinton did. So motherfucker, you lose, you get back and you represent and you you, you pursue the things that you promised in your campaign, which clearly she has not done. However, Bernie Sanders has. And this is really like the litmus test. This is like the purity test and I think we know that Hillary Clinton indeed did fail just like a lot of Bernie Sanders and supporters and progressives believed and Bernie Sanders passed and that's what we thought so I'm disappointed in Clinton although I never really it's not really disappointment it's just reassurance because I already knew what was going to happen but Bernie Sanders I mean just keeping it going and Hillary Clinton exposed she's not doing shit Hillary Clinton didn't even show up to the Women's March, and Bernie didn't. There was that whole Bernie bro garbage that was total bullshit. And he was at a Women's March where he gave a speech. And she never even showed up. All she did was have a staffer send a tweet. 